What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Um, good news, bad news. Uh, the bad news is I actually did an episode prior to this, and through a simple mistake of file names and folders, accidentally deleted it before it got rendered. Yeah. So, that was a fun afternoon. Um... So I'm basically re-recording it. So I have all that progress, and we've got some cool stuff. Unfortunately, you weren't around to see it, which kind of stinks. Um, I even tried to recover the files, but there just it wasn't having it, which was not cool. Um, so one thing that you might notice if you're paying attention to my hotbar at all is this guy. What is this, you might ask? And if you already know, congratulations. This, my friends is a st stasis rifle. Why does that cliffside look like it's lower than it was before? No, am I losing my mind? I might be losing my mind. Don't worry about it. So, the stasis rifle here, we finally built it. Um, actually, let me take a visit to our base here for a second. So this is our fragment analyzer. Okay? Now, what I realized in the last episode was even though, if you hit tab, you go to blueprints, um, even though the fragment analyzer used to say that it needed the blueprints, or it still does. It still says fragment analyzer blueprint times two, which is weird. Um, but if you use the builder and you right click and then you just click it, it will let you put one down. And when you do, it tells you you need two titanium, a wiring kit, and a computer chip. So you don't actually need the blueprints. You can just make one, which is kind of cool. Um, to access the Fragment Analyzer, you click the little top button there. Um, and when you click on it, then if you had a Fragment in here, you would middle click it and it would put it over there. And then when you look at this, where it says Analyzer Empty, it would give you a percentage timer on how long it was going to take to um, upgrade, or, or unlock the analysis, I guess. That little engine thing's kind of noisy. Okay, I've also made some changes here. We've got a locker here. I don't think I have anything in them. Oh, I did put some copper in here. Okay. So we've got two lockers. At the moment, it's like minerals and everything else, and then I might put one for food and water. I'll probably do minerals, equipment, uh, food, and water is probably a good way to do it. And then we've got our fabricator here. Um, so that's a little addition to the... Um, to the base that was not there in the last episode. I also did use the fragment analyzer to unlock that fragment for the workbench. Um, but it didn't seem to do anything yet, so I'm guessing that's not an implemented block yet. Because um, you can see we don't have... That's locker blueprint old. Uh, we don't actually have a workbench thingy? Block? Whatever? And when we go into our builder tool, I do not see a, um, yeah, workbench. So I'm guessing that's still a work in progress block, but we did use the, uh, the fragment. So we only have our Seamoth fragment here, which really doesn't do much, in my opinion, because you need the constructor to build it. I guess it's so... Maybe at this point, when you use the constructor, I already have the Cyclops blueprint, but I don't have a sea moth. Maybe? So when you throw the constructor out, it might not have the sea moth blueprint, possibly. You know what? I'll just go ahead and analyze it. It'll show you what I was talking about. But I have another project I want to work on, and that's if we're ever going to take the Cyclops, or the Sea View, sorry, back out. Um, we need to mark this, and I forgot all about this beacon thing. So I want to make a beacon, which is two copper and a titanium, which we've got that. At least I think we do. Titanium, and we got plenty of copper. So, copper wire. They, I'm sure they made it easy so you could mark different places. Beacon. Okay, so we've got a beacon. Marks the location. And then we're going to do two things. We're going to explore a bit, and I'll show you guys more of the um, 
stasis rifle since you unfortunately didn't get to see it, which is Okay, so four... Do I just right-click? Or how... Whoa! It's either hooked onto my belt, or I have an extra pair of hands, or it's I'm carrying it like a football under my arm. I don't know what that's about. Alright, so let's drop it right... Let's put it like just right on top of the power generator. How's that? Pick up beacon. Okay, so we can see that the lifeboat has a whole circle pulse as well as the sea view. This one has a hollow looking pulse. So that's good to know. Oh, for a second there I was down like this and I'm like, why is my why is my base on fire? That scared me. Um, you know what else? Let's go ahead and expand the base a little bit. Give us some breathing room to move around before we move on. Um, what stuff do we have? We have an L corridor, a T corridor, X corridor, hatch, ladder, reinforcement, window, locker. Let's... we haven't done a T junction. What is this? They're all two... foundations are four, the corridors are all two, um, the ladder is three. It's good to know. Oops! No, no, no! Don't do that. Alright, so we have one, two, one, two. So we either have two different corridor sections or we have two and a ladder. Or one and a ladder, excuse me. Um, so let's see. I just kind of got an idea of what if we built a tower type situation up to the, up to the top. That would be kind of interesting. Um, let's see what the T one looks like. How's that? So we could go like this. Maybe we'll point it. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is this is like our storage area. We don't want to come off of that. We want to go off of like this. Okay, that's two, and maybe do a single, like, this way. And then as we get some more titanium, what we can do, um, that's still, that's just so cool, the way that they did this. That's so awesome. Total now one, base hull strength is total now one. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just dip into my base, but I'm still not used to that. So I'm thinking of coming off of this pod here. Or maybe go one more and then go up or something. I don't know. Making it like a surface access. That would be kind of interesting. It's coming along. I don't know how to add more found like strength, though. I wonder if we can add to the ground, maybe? Like with another foundation block or something? If that would help? Um, so let's take the Cyclops out. We don't really have a whole lot stored at our base, and we have a beacon now, so we can find our way back if we need to. So, let's go exploring. Um, let's head out... ...in this direction. Did we go this way? Yes, we did. I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's go this way. I feel like we might have got- wait, maybe we did. Is this where we found the edge of the world? Yeah, I- eh, I don't know. We're just heading this way. I've heard there's also an island out here somewhere that you could find. But truth be told, I don't know near enough about it to know where it is. So we've got what looks like a red grass area down there. Which could yield some interesting results. But see, it's these like sand dune looking areas that usually end up just dropping off and then there's like nothing after them. 
And like I've said multiple times, I don't know if that's just world gen. Like, if you keep going far enough, eventually you'll get to a point where there's something. Or if that's just the way that the game is at the moment that, like, the map ends. Because this actually doesn't look like it's going that deep. Where are we at? 33? Let's take it down to, like, 50. I always do that. I try and get rid of the controls and I end up honking the horn. Alright, so let's take the sea moth down for a minute and see what we got going on over here. If this is just the end of the world or not. Kind of looks like it. Doesn't really look like there's anything here. See how this just kind of drops off? Doesn't really look like there's anything here. The bigger thing is it doesn't really look like we're running into any new biome either. That's what makes me feel like is this like end of the world type terrain. That we're going deeper. Why am I going deeper? Is that on purpose? I didn't think we were at an angle. Oh, we are at an angle. Well, that's interesting. Where's the big ship? Can I still see it from here? No. So I'm thinking this is not a good direction to go. Whoops. Uh, where? I was gonna say, I lost my beacon. There it is. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking this isn't a good direction to go. Um, not in terms of the is there anything interesting, just more that there's nothing resource-wise. If we ran out of power, there's nothing for me to get my battery cells back or anything. Thank you. Okay, so let's turn turn around here. Kind of like that, only with the actual submarine turning around. Be useful. Wait, what the? Why are my feet still moving? <laughs> Stop that. That was weird. Okay, so I want to head back towards the base, but I don't actually want to go back to the base. would like to... Let's go up a ways so that we don't run into anything. Let's head out maybe this way? I'm trying to get to some areas that I haven't been exploring already. I mean, I don't want to just sit in the same area. But at the same time, like I said, I'd, al I'd also like to make sure that there's actually something there to explore. Um, this wouldn't be a bad area. Let's see where this goes. If we just keep on trucking this way, is there any more stuff out here? Ooh! Don't T-bone me, whale. Or whatever you are. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I can't see the bottom really anymore. I'm trying to be careful with my um, my depths so that we're not like running into stuff or crashing into the floor. All systems online. Okay, let's get a frame of reference here. There's the red forest area. See, this just I feel like. I feel like the world just ends at this point. Like, there's not going to be anything to get. So we were kind of right. This is like the coast or border or whatever. I'm thinking, I don't know if eventually they're going to have like a huge amount of space or something. Which would be cool. It'd be more like a Minecraft world or something. Um, 
but this does not look like, at the moment, this current build of the game as having, um, like a infinite world type of setup. Okay, let's, there's, there's stuff. Yeah, see, there's that spiky stuff that we talked about last episode. I think that was last episode. I'm kind of screwed up now. What is this stuff? What is that? Okay, that's new. That's worth investigating. What is that crap? Okay, let me uh, actually eat some stuff here. I really thought I had some cooked stuff. I also did not show you guys the uh, analyzer either. Go me. Uh, there we go. That's good enough for now. And the stasis rifle uses battery power. Like you can recharge with. Oh, that's kind of weird looking. What, what are you? It's like... What is that? Net? Is that like a net that's holding a earth ball? I mean... Can I, can I go through it? Yep. Can pass through it at the moment. What do you call... Oh, wow! That's a crystal. That's a crystal is what that is. What do you call this? Ooh! Can I retrieve it? Or are you going to blow up in my face and be evil? Nope. Huh. Well, color me intrigued. Looks like a Minecraft dragon egg. world. Does one call this stuff? Is there more of it? Or is it? Oh, there's more. This is so weird. Okay, that stuff I think we've seen, but there's... There was more crystal stuff. There it is. There's more crystals. Huh. Very strange. What's that over there? Is this more of it? Weird. Whoa! Pop in. Huh. This stuff is creepy. Okay, that pop in's gonna get me killed unless the collisions are off. Don't think they are. Don't think they are. Okay, running into invisible things. Not cool. Alright, where are you, Sea View? There you are. Really hope the pop in doesn't kill me by just loading in a wall. Okay, so that was intriguing. Whoa, like that. That was rather interesting, I suppose. But we are running low on time, and I want to show you guys how the stasis rifle works, which is completely epic. Oh, and uh, I don't know if we covered it before, but it's under the tool tab. It's an advanced wiring kit, a power cell, and silicone. So it's not too bad to make. Um, the tricky part is A, finding a blueprint, and then B is getting the defragmenter made that you can find the blueprints, or yeah, make the blueprints out of the fragments and all that kind of crap. Um, overall though, it's not too bad to make. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, breaking the bank or anything. Uh, do we have any new areas here? This isn't new, it's just a kelp forest. 
don't know if we've been over in that area. Oh, wait, no, I recognize that rock. I know that sounds funny, but I'm pretty sure that I recognize that rock. <laughs> I don't really want to park my submarine over that volcano either. That wouldn't, uh, doesn't seem like it would end well. Okay, there's... Oh, wow, that's weird. That's a bug. Clipping view. Um, okay, that's good enough. So let's say, for instance, that we are low on food, right? So we need to find some fish. Oh look, a peeper. It's going to tell me to catch him, right? Boom! Oh, come on. I caught you and you know it. There we go. Got him. So this basically stuns things, and you can just go pick them up, which is kind of amazing. Um, obviously, hunting for fish and things is so much easier in that regard. Where's he going? And you can kind of just crank them, crank out rounds. I mean, it's not really super ammo intensive is in terms of you're gonna have to carry a billion batteries on you or anything. Um, so yeah, fish hunting, so much easier. Oh, this also works on um, crashes, or as I like to call them, creepers. Um, when one comes flying at you, if you fire the stasis field thing. I think this is a creeper nest, isn't it? Yep. Alright, you gonna send one out? You gonna go for it? Oh, that... <laughs> what just happened? What was that? It like blew itself up inside a wall. That's funny. Okay, are you gonna fire? Fire. Launch him. Launch him. Go ahead. Haha! -ha! And then they just blow up. Which is kinda awesome. I think you can actually do it this way too. Yeah! Not blowing me up today. They're just apparently destroying their own voxels, which is kind of funny. Um, now, what I don't know is if you can fire like this, and then if something flies into it, swims into it. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen yeah, I gotcha. Um, if they'll still get stuck, or if you have to actually generate the field in the area around them while they're inside it kind of thing. Like, I don't know if you have to hit them directly or if they swim into it if it'll stun them too. Um, so be careful with dealing when dealing with crashes or creepers. Um, but yeah, so I think that's kind of all I've got going on for today. Oop, oop, oop. Paper. Paper, stop lagging for a second so I can kill him. Here's, here's actually a good test. Well, no, not really, because I couldn't get a good shot on him. But still, fish hunting? So much better. Alright. Oh, and the analyzer. So, if I do this, put that in there. Seamoth fragment commencing, and then it'll tell you 1%. 2%. So it'll tell you where what percentage it's at, and then it will notify you in the bar uh, to the left um, when it's done and you have new blueprints available. So, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!